Hey there, Guardians. We need to talk about Black Armor. Bungie have, in their infinite wisdom, decided to drop new content, but not tell anyone that your light level needs to be at least 610 to play it. While this is naturally assumed for higher tier activities or raids, the barrier to entry is catching many Guardians by surprise here. And no wonder, because nowhere is it mentioned in the advertising for the seasonal pass that there would be a light level requirement. Now, forums and groups are all buzzing with conversation about it, so I figured I'd add my two cents to the bill. This was a screw up on Bungie's part. Now, I know there's another side to this, and I see that, but just hear me out. We all know Destiny is a grinding game. That's why we play it. But I did all the steps to reach the forge, not knowing there was a level cap. And, well, you can kind of see the problem here. <laughs> This is like getting a new game and having to download a day one patch that's 50 gigs and you're using dial-up. But instead of an entire day waiting for your game to be ready, a good number of us will have to grind out a bunch of the game's older content before we can get to play the new thing we just paid for. This is kind of like going into a restaurant, ordering a steak, but they make you eat 10 salads before they'll serve you a steak. Oh, and you've got to come back a week later to eat said steak. This was a massive oversight on Bungie's part, and it's got to be called out. Now, to their credit, they recognize they made a whoopsie and have lowered the light level according to this tweet. Want to know how much they lowered it by? Five. Yep, five. Oof, boy. You know, I wonder what it was like being in the meeting when they realized what they'd done. Oh my God! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the procedure, everyone? What's the procedure? Stay, What's the procedure? stay calm! Wait, 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 wait! Yeah, having any significant number of players not be able to access content that they paid for? Oof, bad idea. Now, the counter-argument to this goes something like, LOL, this is a grinding game, don't be salty because you haven't been no-living Destiny for the last four months and haven't maxed out all your characters. This argument is easily deflected by the fact that some of us have real lives, you know, with jobs and friends and, you know, the whole shebang. It's hard for me because, well, I have to make the Destiny videos, and those take a lot of time, people. What I would propose that Bungie do is have a sliding light level. Any Guardian can play, and the rewards are consistent with their level, with top-tier rewards going to those with max light. This gives players some rewards and some XP to help them level up, while also giving them something to shoot for. Everybody wins. Another thing I've got to point out is what this is doing to the Destiny community. It's really polarizing, Guardians, and I hate to say it, but you folks who do nothing but play 80 hours a week and then treat anybody who hasn't got that kind of time as somehow inferior have seriously got it twisted. The Destiny community should be about fun and about helping people and showing them new raid or sharing valuable insights. Whatever, whatever happened in that. I want that Destiny back. Now I've got to get back to grinding so I can actually finish the forge and review Black Armory properly, so stay tuned for that. And as always, keep your knives sharp and your eyes up. Oh, and of course, happy hunting, Guardians. <laughs>